Hey, it's Luke Kawasaki from Student Leadership and Involvement here to help you become prepared to work with Facebook for a department within Student Affairs. Here's a quick rundown of what we're going to be talking about together. Managing account information, creating content for Facebook, posting during peak times, scheduling posts, using live video, and customer service and conflict management. Okay, so first things first, accessing and managing accounts for a department. Whether you're starting a new account or getting access to an established one, it's important that a professional staff or faculty member maintains access to that account as an admin. This is to maintain departmental access to accounts after you've left either the department or Oregon State. So if you have a team of people working with you, it can be useful to set levels of access for each individual team member. Check out the options here. Analyst, Editor, Moderator, Advertiser, and Live Contributor. Most likely, you have a professional staff member who will assign and manage those roles for you, but if not, take the time to familiarize yourself with their respective levels of access and decide which role is best suited for your team members. So let's get into content. Facebook supports the usage of rich media links to content on other sites and heavy text content. When deciding what content you want to create for your page, refer back to your audience and consider what they will respond to best. Generally, photos and videos receive the highest levels of engagement. Facebook measures um, individual users who interact with your media by reacting, commenting, viewing, or sharing your content. And when designing pictures and videos for Facebook, remember to keep things concise and direct. Folks scroll quickly through their dashboard. So keep videos short on Facebook, around, gen around 30 seconds or so. With written content, keep status updates concise as well. Longer written content should be put into a note, like this. Always make sure that the tone is appropriate for your department. Include links to pages that you mentioned using the at symbol before writing their Facebook handle, and include any relevant hashtags for Oregon State, your department, and anything else that's pertinent. To figure out when you should post content, you can check your page's insights section for that information. Find posts, and you will see this chart that displays when people who follow your page are most active on Facebook. Post during those times, or if the content is time-sensitive news, post as available. If posting during regular class times, post 10 minutes before the hour to try and catch people in passing periods as they settle into class or walk between. Now, if you're using live videos, be sure to only film subjects whom you've obtained a model release form prior to filming. Going live can be a great way to use Facebook's algorithm to increase your video's reach and engagement, though. So consider using the live to film interviews or segments of events where the subjects have signed and submitted their forms beforehand. Now, let's get into customer service and managing conflict. Social media is a great place for people to engage with organizations and businesses, so being prepared to interact with your users is critical to the success of a Facebook page. When users comment questions or concerns on your posts or in your direct messages, it's your responsibility to support them by responding. Replying to a comment a user makes shows that your department is listening and it cares about their experiences. Responding to both positive comments and one showing dissatisfaction with an experience with you will build trust and rapport between your department and a user. For example, if someone comments on a post about an event with, I'm so glad that I went, what a great event, what a great time, you could say, we're really glad you came. Or conversely, if someone says, really disappointed that the food at this event ran out before we even got there, you could say, we're sorry that you were not able to enjoy the food that we ordered. We will be sure to have more food at future events like this owning the mistake, and showing that your department has learned from that experience. In setting up your department's Facebook page, it's important to fill out all of the sections on your About page. In the About section of the About page, be sure to include what your department does, what users can expect from this page, and community guidelines about acceptable interactions with the page. Including a description about unacceptable material to be posted on your page will allow all parties to have a better experience with your page. Sometimes, comments on posts need to be deleted. If a comment violates community guidelines that you outline in your About section, you have the right to delete their comment and send them a message linking to your About section explaining why you removed their comment from your page. If a user becomes hostile or aggressive towards you, do not engage them. And that wraps up our introduction to Facebook. For more information, please contact Student Affairs Communications here. I'm Luke Kawasaki with Student Leadership and Involvement. Until next time.